Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you all had a great Christmas. It's hard to believe that it's already come and gone. And now here we are at the end of 2022 on the cusp of a new year. And I've actually got one last review for you guys to end this year with. I'm returning to my roots. I've got a new G.I. Joe set to show you guys and I'm super excited about this. Um, it has been a long time since I've bought a G.I. Joe. It's It's got to be, I think, over two years now since I've gotten a new G.I. Joe. Um, and that's just because there really aren't too many left that I'm really dying to get a hold of. But lately, I've been checking out these Jeep sets. And I've just been dying to get a hold of some of these. So I finally pulled the trigger and I got the Jeep Shore Patrol Vehicle set. And yeah, here it is. This is absolutely beautiful. It's brand new, as you can see. And it comes with a figure. He looks fantastic. This Jeep looks really awesome. Over here it says, somebody bought this from Kmart a long time ago for $41.99, which, wow, I wish that these things still cost that much money. Um, even still, I did pick it up for a reasonable price considering what these Jeep sets usually go for. I paid around $120 with shipping, so, you know, it's, it's pricey, but um, it's what you expect today. I mean, these... G.I. Joe sets are hard to come by, especially these Jeep ones, and they're a pain to ship. This this box is massive, so you're going to pay a lot in shipping. So, um, but yeah, this is really beautiful. Let's take a look at the box in more detail here. So yeah, Jeep Shore Patrol Vehicle includes World War II Sailor. We've got some cool pictures here. The, the, um, the box art is really awesome as always. I love these green G.I. Joe boxes. They just are so much fun and bring back a lot of memories for me growing up. Um, so here's the equipment list. We've got obviously the G.I. Joe figure, shirt, trousers, boots, belt, helmet, armband, the Jeep vehicle, of course, front wheel steering, 30 caliber machine gun, a radio, antenna, radio receiver, a handset, a gun belt, ammo box, a shovel, an axe, and lastly, a gas can. So it comes with a good good amount of stuff here. And um, here's the side here for you. Just a blown up picture there from what was on the front. Love the artwork on these boxes. And then here is the back with a little description here for you if you want to take the time to read that. And then here's a prototype of the set. It doesn't look like this, of course. The Jeep looks pretty much the same, but the figure, as you can see, he's got a black helmet instead of the white helmet. So that's different. And then just some more pictures here. So a great looking box. And this is still in pretty good condition too. There's a few dents here and there, but not bad overall. And then the year for this was 2003. So uh, <laughs> getting to be pretty old now. Not too old, but you know, coming up on 20 years ago. It's a little, a little scary to think about. Um, but yeah, I've got to say, this is really exciting for me. I have not gotten a G.I. Joe pack in such a long time, and these are so much fun, and they bring back so many good memories of childhood. You know, me and my brother, mainly my brother, used to love getting G.I. Joes for Christmas and his birthday, and then I would always play with him. So a lot of great memories of childhood, and it's really good 
to be getting back into some G.I. Joe figures here. Um, yeah, I would love to pick up more of these Jeep sets. So, yeah, this is very unusual for me. As you can see, he's still in his box. And um, usually I take things out of the box, but I'm having a hard time taking this out of the box. It looks so good in, inside. And I'm just afraid once I, once I take it out, that kind of, you know, that's it. You can't really put everything back inside. I mean, you can to a degree, but it just looks really good inside of the box. So I'm kind of struggling here on what I should do. And I wanted to get your guys' opinion on what you think I should do. If you think I should leave this inside the box, because these are getting to be uh, pretty rare these days. Um, but I am, I am pretty tempted to take them out. What I will do actually is just open up the packaging. I don't think I'm not going to take anything out, just slide it out and take a look at what's inside, but I'm not going to actually, um, you know, take the Jeep out or the figure out. So I got my knife here and let's just take a look at what's inside here. Looks like there's some more, some more tape here that needs to be cut. Okay, and some more at the bottom, it looks like. Okay, so there's the door opened up. Let me try to slide this out with one hand. Let's see if I can do it. Okay, this is a little, a little tricky to do this with one hand. Might have to, I think I'm gonna have to stop the video. All right, well, I got him out of his packaging successfully. So now that I have better access to what's inside, let's take a better look at everything here. I really love this background, this sunset. That looks great. Beautiful packaging inside. And here's a look at the figure up close. Love that helmet, the, the Shore Patrol abbreviation there printed and that's a great head sculpt one of my favorites and I believe this set only is available with this head sculpt I have not seen any others beautiful uniform he's got shore patrol arm armband there that looks great and he's got his belt I love how they have his hand on the steering wheel. And then the other one down there. All right, so that's the figure. He is very, very snug and secure. He's not going anywhere. And then here's this Jeep, which looks great. You can get another figure or maybe even two in the back seat there and there's the 30 cal machine gun spare tire and the gas can in the back we've got the side mirror all right and this is all taped so it's not going anywhere Can't really see the front too well without taking it out, unfortunately. Um, but then some other accessories here. We got the shovel and the axe. And then the radio. And also uh, ammo canister there for the 30 cal. Yeah, so that looks like everything. This is really beautiful. I, I'm loving this set and it's very exciting to be getting back into some gi joe figures here so 
I think that's everything to show. Um, like I said, guys, maybe I'll take a poll on how many of you think I should take him out and how many think I should keep him inside of the box. I'm honestly kind of torn. I'm dying to take him out, I've got to be honest. But at the same time, he just looks so good inside of the box. I'm very tempted to just leave him there. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think. And um, if I get enough votes saying to take him out, maybe, maybe I will. Maybe I will. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this review. I know it's kind of different since usually I do take everything out and show you things in closer detail. But I will do that if you want me to. So just let me know and um, we'll take it from there. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. And I'll see you in the new year.